All right, hey, we all love to indulge in the sweet treats, especially this time of year. And guess what? You can enjoy the sugary treats without the weight gain. This is something we can all benefit from, right? Fitness expert Nick Parker, he is with us today with three easy tips. Nick, good to see you, man. I always hey, appreciate you here. coming in. Yep, thanks. All right, this got all of our attention. All right, yeah. eating the sweets without gaining the weight. Where do you start with this? It's tricky because sugar is identified as the public enemy number one for weight gain, right? So right. how do you eat sugar? I eat some sugar once in a while. I'm sure everyone here does. In fact, I think I saw some brownies laying around here somewhere. Oh, there's food everywhere around these studios. When I but, find uh, it, I'm going to eat it. Exactly. So there's three, three things you need to be aware of. The first one is timing, okay? okay. So you can eat sugar. Uh, certain times of the day and not gain weight. The best time obviously is right after workout. And the reason for that is when you're lifting weights or exercising, you're depleting all of the glycogen right out of the muscle. It's called muscle sugar. And once that's gone and you eat it after your workout, there's a window of opportunity there not to overindulge but to go ahead and consume a little so bit of sugar bit, right and to have workout. a little bit and what happens is it goes right into the muscle and it starts the repair process the recovery process and it's not going to be utilized as fat you know some of the runners yeah some of the runners magazines also say sugar before you work out because you'll you burn right. up pretty quick do you like that one or no yeah that's what i was going to say is the second best okay. time is prior to your workout or earlier in the day the last thing you want to do is do it right before you go to bed you spike your insulin levels you suppress all those good fat storing uh, or fat burning hormones that you have in your overnight rest so you don't want to do that at all okay yeah yep. your next one here you say don't do it alone what don't do, you mean do it by alone. that this means add a little bit of healthy fat and healthy protein with the sugar mm -hmm. what that does is most people don't know this you have a glycemic index rating for sugar which is really high which will put you in fat storing yep. mode when you add the protein when you add the fat it lowers the glycemic load which means it's not going to spike your insulin as high and you're not going to get that crash at the end and you're less likely to store it as fat and you don't get in that carb that ravenous carb cycle where you're just craving sugar all the time so the peanut butter parfait there as long you as you go. have the nuts on it right you got a little yeah, ice cream or the snickers bar right right so it's a little better anyway exactly and finally you say you got to know your numbers what numbers are you talking you got to know your numbers you can't eat 500 600 calories a day from sugar and here's a tip here's an interesting fact when you eat one piece of white bread okay. that's equivalent to four tablespoons of sugar which is 50 grams of sugar most people don't know wow. that so you got to be really really careful make sure you're keeping it under 200 calories per day throughout the holidays that's moderation keep your sugar low and you're a lot less likely to gain weight wow so in these days of twinkie shortages yeah just uh, <laughs> if, you, if you find some still keep moderation is what you're exactly, saying exactly yeah right, for sure good. so it is possible so all right fitness expert nick parker always good to see you man yeah, appreciate thanks. it we'll you talk too. to you soon